Now, the Idaho Falls Fire Department is releasing its own warning about the wind, telling people not to burn and to stay clear of trees and down power lines. The department added a little humor with a Facebook post reading, quote, hold on to your garbage cans, patio chairs, hats, small children, and furry felines. Michael, the wind is not letting up. No, in fact, it's going to get worse tonight. We are going to hit peak wind speeds later on tonight, overnight through your Tuesday. And that's with wind gusts in excess of 50 miles an hour taking hold across the Snake River Plain. We've already seen some 50 mile an hour wind gusts, especially in Rexburg in the Upper Valley and out across the desert. We're getting some rain mixed in with the gusty winds, hopefully to help maybe uh, bring down some of that dust out towards Osgood. But we're fighting a lot of that wind, so we're getting evaporation at the lower levels of the atmosphere. Plus some snow this afternoon and evening through areas like Jackson, Teton Pass. It's snowing, also getting some snow back through the Palisades, and we have those winds currently at 12 miles an hour in Blackfoot, 28 for Pocatello, 26 for Rexburg and Rexburg Airport still getting wind gusts at 50 miles an hour. There's the high wind warning stretching in from central Idaho all the way across eastern Idaho. The only exception being the mountain peaks. We do have also western Wyoming valleys under that high wind warning through tomorrow. Here's a look at Viper right now. We got some rain. We got some snow out there moving across the desert out of the Magic Valley. Spotty showers currently over IF with some snow as you get a little bit higher in elevation, some slippery conditions right now over Teton Pass and earlier around 515 or actually around 5 o'clock to 515. We even had a snow squall warning for areas of Lost Trail Pass north of Salmon along Highway 93. Now that warning was allowed to expire, but it is still snowing like a bear right now along Highway 93 as you're getting well north of Salmon. So we'll have more of this active weather for tonight through tomorrow. And again, that high wind warning expires tomorrow afternoon and evening. We got 47 right now in IF, 48 in Pocatello. Of course, it feels colder with all that wind. We'll send it back over to Todd.